Today I'm going to show you how you can see the return type of any function because sometimes when the contract is deployed I have this contract here and if I want to see and sometimes you cannot see the return value of some function because it's hidden so I have these four functions here the first one being a get string this just returns a hard-coded string and in the second one again we return a hard-coded array so if I click on get array let me zoom in if I click on get array I get my array underneath the function name and the same applies with the get string function but now if I want to I also have this get number function which returns a state variable but and I've intentionally left out the view keyword here and this is why when I click on get number I don't actually get my return value underneath the function name like we did with the with these functions so let's see how can we see the return type if it's not here so click on get number now we can see the transaction log and instead of seeing it here click on the transaction log scroll down let me zoom in scroll down and under the decoded output we can see we get this sort of like an object I can actually copy this and paste it here so this is the this is where you can see the the return value this is the type of the return value it's a uint 256 and we got to 1 and I also have this transfer with send function so this should transfer one liter to this address using the send function and it returns a boolean if the transaction if the transfer was successful so let's click on transfer with send we can see we don't get the, the boolean uh, here underneath the function as you can see but if again I scroll down click on the transaction lock scroll down we can see the, in the decoded output field, we get a return type of boolean that is false.